Hi, I'm Mary. Welcome to my channel. On this video, we're going to look at the idea of whether or not a function is odd or if it's even, perhaps it's neither. And in these videos, we work along with worksheets that are posted in the discussion box below. So I want to just share my screen and um, we pick up on page five. And there's a def couple of definitions I wanted to share here. Okay, so we have two pictures of functions. The two definitions are, we'll start here, the even function, an even function is a function where f of minus x equals f of x. So for all x in the domain, um, f of x, and f of minus x are equal. So if I had a little equal, this little piece, this little part of the red and that part of the red would be equal. That is, if I take x equal to, for any value of x, I can look over here, x equals one. And at f of one, I'm up here. And at f of minus one, I'm up here. I'm at the same point. So this is a classic uh, function, a classic even function. I always think of um, y equals x squared. Okay, and then um, we want to look over here at a classic odd, the idea of an odd function says f of minus x is equal to minus f of x for all x that the function's defined for all x in the domain. And at the classic example is f of x equals x cubed. And what we see is um, that if we go, if we look at two, for example, we can look at f of two and f of minus two, that these two values, minus eight and eight, are opposites of each other. Okay. And um, one thing we want to talk about both for the even function and for the odd function is, is like how we see this and um, we can see this through a transformation. So to show you, to be able to um, observe the transformation, I opened up, uh, I opened up the graph of y equals x squared in paint. And paint is nice because you can do these, um, you can flip it, you can rotate it. And here, my uh, one of the op, what I want to show you is in an even function, if I rotate it across this vertical axis, the function is unchanged. And to do that in paint, uh, I want to flip horizontal. When I do that, I know I had the right, um, because the right flip, right? So it flipped this way. I could see the uh, backwards ex um, expression y equals x squared. So I could flip it again horizontal and the y equals x squared shows over there. So we can kind of track which side we are on. So that's the idea in an even function. If you rotate it along this vertical axis, that the function looks the same. All right, so looking here at y equals x cubed, there's also a transformation that we can use to check, or a rotation that we you can use, that we can um, use to check if a function is odd. So I open this function up as well in paint and make these cool graphs in the R programming language in case anyone wants to learn that. We can, always a fun thing to talk about. Um, okay, so I'm gonna rotate and let's see what happens. Notice y equals x cubed, the label is up here on the top left. I'm gonna rotate it, I'm gonna start to rotate it with by 90 degrees. It looks different and my little label came over here. It's at the top right now. I'm gonna again, rotate it 90 more degrees to the right and 
it has flipped it. So basically it flipped twice. The label was here top left, then top right, and now bottom right. And we can see that the function looks exactly the same. So um, what I'm demonstrating is that if I have an odd function and I rotate at 180 degrees, 90 and 90, it looks the same. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna even try that, rotate that. So if I rotate it here, we have back home, right? Label top left, then rotate it 180 degrees. It looks exactly the same, but the label moves. Okay, so that's the transformation that we can um, we see in an odd function. So when we look at functions, we wanna determine if they're odd or they're even, if you have a graph, you graphs are, you know, they're not algebraic um, proof often because graphs are, you know, depending on how blown up a region is, you might see or lose some information, but they really do give us the main ideas. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the whiteboard and we're going to um, work on identifying whether a function is odd, even or neither. Um, algebraically. Okay, so we're on number 12 if you're working along with the linked worksheet. Okay, and we're asked to determine if f of x, which is equal to x cubed plus x, is it even or is it odd or is it neither? So To determine if it's even, we need to look at f of minus x. To determine if it's odd, we also need to get minus f of x. So what I like to do for these problems is just go ahead and calculate we have f of x. Let's find f of minus x, and also we'll find minus f of x, and that's enough to answer all the questions. So uh, f of minus x is going to be wherever I see an x, I replace it with minus x. minus x times minus x times minus x is minus x cubed. And actually, let's take a minute on that the first time we see it. Let's look at this. Minus x cubed, it's important. I'm going to leave it over here on the side. Is minus 1 order of um, exponents, right? We have rules of exponents. So thinking about minus x cubed as equal minus one times x cubed. And then we can use this product of exponent rule. And that is minus one times x cubed. Okay, and so what we have is this is otherwise known as minus x cubed. So minus x to the third power is equal to negative x cubed. And over here, plus and minus give me minus x. And the next thing we need to also calculate is what, by the way, I guess it's worth noting is f of minus x. I'll, circle it, I'll put a box around that. And f of x, are they equal? They are not equal. Okay, so then the next thing we have to look at is a negative f of x, so that's negative in front of x cubed plus x, and we're going to uh, distribute the negative sign, negative x cubed minus x. So this is minus f of x 
And what do we have? We have f of x does not equal minus f of negative x, but notice that f of negative x equals negative f of x. Okay, so in fact, our function is odd here. Okay, we're going to look at the next problem. So for problem 13, we have f of x equals x squared plus 2x. And we want to determine if it's, again, um, even or odd. So we're looking at those three. We need to look at, we need to consider f of x, f of minus x, and minus f of x, and then determine whether what we find, if there's anything that's equal and lining up. We want to look at, in this case, we're going to want this piece to investigate negative x, that whole quantity squared. Okay, and I want to think of this as negative 1 times x squared, which is minus 1 squared times x squared which is x squared. Okay. Um, and so what we notice here is that whether or not, like when we compare minus x cubed to minus x squared, what was important was when we squared minus one, it turned into a plus one. But when we cubed minus one, it turned into minus one. So think about that. What's going to happen here, and I kind of just want to put this out because it'll help with the problem solving. And I'm sure you'll have lots of uh, opportunities to think about this particular question. So minus x to some number here. Let's take some number um, that's even is always just going to be x but minus x to some number here, if it's odd, it's going to be minus x. You do cannot lose your exponents, okay? So that, um, just so that's because negative one raised to an even number of, to an even power, to an even power is, is positive one. And negative one raised to an odd power is negative one, so the negative remains. Okay, that's a little aside. We're gonna come back to the problem that, problem number 13. So we wanna calculate, f, for f of x equal x squared plus two x, let's find f of minus x. So wherever we see x, we have to uh, replace it with minus x. And let's clean this up. We have minus x squared is x squared because that's an even exponent. And over here, we get negative 2x. So we have f of minus x is equal to x squared minus 2x, which is not the same as f of x because f of x is x squared plus 2x. So now what we're interested in looking at is minus f of x, which is a minus x squared plus 2x. And we're going to distribute the negative sign. So minus f of x is negative x squared minus 2x. OK, looking at the conditions, which checks for even, does f of x equal f of minus x? No, the function is not even. And for odd, does f of x, does f of minus x equal minus f of x? It does not. So here is an example of a function that is neither even or odd.
And before we move on, I want you to think about what this function is made of. Um, it's the sum of x squared, where x squared is, right? That's our classic even function. But what we add on to it is 2x and x and 2x are an odd function. So we added together an even function and an odd function. And you can go and check on the side why statement was f of x equals x and f of x equals 2x are odd functions. All right. And when, you, when we added them together, the even and the odd, we got a, a function that was neither even or odd. Okay, that's it for uh, these uh, extensions of concepts uh, uh, on functions. So I will see you in the next lecture.